Are you thinking about building a marketplace app? At its core, a marketplace app is a two-sided platform with multiple user types who are engaging in some way. Think about apps like Indeed for posting and applying for jobs, Zillow for posting and inquiring about real estate listings, Etsy for buying and selling products. The list could go on. While many people think of marketplace apps as places to buy and sell things, they're really so much more. That said, they do tend to have a similar core set of features, no matter what the app is for or what industry it's for. Today, you're going to learn why we use Bubble for building marketplace apps and why it might be the best solution for your app, too. We'll talk about all the common features you'd expect, like search, payment integrations, reviews, notifications, activity feeds, and more. I'm Gabby Roman, co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help CEOs and founders build custom software to start or scale their businesses. Let's dive right in. When I say marketplace, I think of apps like Airbnb for renting homes and apartments, Indeed for job search, OpenTable for restaurant reservations, Zillow for real estate listings, Etsy for buying unique gifts and products made by small business owners. Marketplaces are one of the most common types of business models, and we're going to start by going through all of the core features you might see in one of these apps. And keep in mind, we're using Bubble as our app builder because it has the power to support all of these features and more. So the first feature I want to talk about is user registration and being able to define your users uh, by having different roles. So think about buyers and sellers versus doctors and patients or employers and contractors or hosts and guests. You have the ability to completely custom define who your users are and when they're registering for your application, uh, they can also select who they want to be. By choosing roles for your different users, they can then see specific screens, take specific actions, um, and experience the app in a completely different way uh, so that they can both meet in the middle and connect uh, and find whatever it is they need to find or be able to communicate with each other. The next feature is database management. So you can design your database for any kind of data you want. So think about equipment rentals, restaurant reservations, doctor's appointments, job boards, real estate listings. It's really a blank canvas. You have the control over what the structure of your database is going to look like, what everything is called, the relationships between all of your records. Um, it's completely up to you. So whatever you're, whatever you're building, that's the type of data that uh, is going to power your application. The next feature is search. This is a big one. It's one of the, uh, the core pieces of a marketplace, right? Your users are coming here to find something and connect with the other side. So being able to search with filters and custom sorting and showing those results in a list or even a map um, in a slideshow carousel, you have lots of different options for designing the way search is done in your application. The next feature is integrating with payment gateways so that you can charge buyers, um, users who are purchasing something, and then paying sellers uh, through your platform. You can take a fee if you want or not, um, but this is how you can basically create a, a system so that users can uh, work with each other and have transactions between each other. The type of payment gateway that you use is up to you. There's lots of different options. Bubble actually has many different plugins that make it pretty quick to uh, get started with. But if you are comfortable with APIs and doing more custom um, setups, then you have that option as well. The next feature is, um, well, this is more just about uh, um, designing your pages and, and what you can do. So you can design different dashboards for each of your user types so that it's tailored to them. So if you think about a platform like Etsy, um, a shop owner is going to have a very different experience in the application compared to a buyer who's just shopping around and looking for products to, to purchase. Um, so a shop owner is going to need to see things like um, all of their orders that are coming in. Uh, they need to be able to manage their products uh, that are going to show up in their shop. They want to be able to design their shop storefront. Um, whereas the customer, uh, you know, if they go to their user account settings or, you know, their own user area, they're going to see, they're going to want to see their past payments, their past orders. Um, but some of these things may overlap between the two types of users. So both of them uh, still want to be able to search the, the whole site. Both of them may need to communicate with each other. So they both get, you know, access to a messaging feature. Uh, so it really just depends on what your application is going to do. But being able to keep things separate, depending on the user type that you've defined, is absolutely possible. 
Along the same lines, uh, don't forget about yourself. So building a dashboard that is that, that's only accessible to you as the admin of the app or, or your team um, is also something that you can do as well. This is just a matter of splitting up your pages and defining who should access what page. But an, ad, uh, an admin dashboard is a really good idea to have for a marketplace, especially because you'll need a place to manage um, your kingdom. You know, you'll need to see how the app is performing. You'll want to get insights, analytics about all of the data data going on, um, maybe even being able to manage certain data that needs to be available in the app. Um, so it's it's basically where you have your global view of everything happening in your own app. The next feature is uh, reviews. So this is very popular with marketplace apps. You definitely want users to have a way to um, review each other to help others make safer and more confident decisions um, about the stuff that they're buying into or reserving, whatever it might be in the application. And you can do this a number of different ways. It's totally up to you. You can have like a star system, a number system. Um, you can have a short little questionnaire or survey for users to submit their reviews, um, create it more like a testimonial, or it can just be free form text boxes for users to just type in whatever uh, they, they wanna say. The next feature is uh, notifications. Well, notifications and activity fees, they sort of go hand in hand. Um, this is something that's absolutely possible and can be done lots of different ways, depending on how you want your users to receive updates about what's going on in the app, um, whether it's just in the app in general or something related to their specific user account. Um, this can be in app notifications, you know, they're on the, they're, they're in the application, maybe a little pop up shows up, uh, something slides down on the screen. Um, it can be email notifications, text message notifications, um, or it can be more of a native push notification that goes to their actual device. Um, and again, this is just a great way to keep users engaged, um, keep them coming back to the app uh, and update it. The next feature is, uh, well, this is just more about what's possible. This is all about connectivity. So Bubble has a very powerful um, API connector tool that lets you communicate with the outside world. You can connect to third party services. There's lots of plugins that do this very easily for you. So you don't actually have to you know, know all the technical stuff or do very much uh, as far as setting it all up. Um, but if you want to do custom uh, integrations, you absolutely have the power to do that. Um, a couple of examples, if you want uh, to connect to social networks so that users can be onboarded more quickly, you know, sign up with their Facebook account, for example. Um, if you want to send uh, events or create events um, on your Google Calendar, if you want to connect your users to um, or add your users to your favorite email marketing platform to keep them updated and, and be able to send out, you know, like a weekly newsletter or something like that. So, so much is possible. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but there's a very um, extensive plugin marketplace. And if there's something in there that you don't see, uh, if the service that you're trying to connect to offers an API, you can uh, pretty much bet that you can connect to it and uh, basically create a lot of powerful functionality in your app. The last thing that I wanted to talk about is responsive design. So think about your users and where they're going to be accessing your app. Um, are they gonna be sitting at their desk in their office or at home, or are they gonna be on the go on their smartphones? So Bubble has a really powerful responsive design editor that lets you um, design your pages so that everything looks great at every breakpoint, everything from a large desktop screen down to a small smartphone device. Um, so you wanna think about uh, who your users are and uh, what experience they that is going to be the best for them. But uh, Bubble is set up to uh, support all of that and um, keep it accessible on, on, on any device that they want to uh, access with. Now, we've worked with a lot of apps and different no-code platforms, but at the core, we use Bubble for apps like this because of its ability to support the type of complex database needed uh, databases needed for these apps, its dynamic search and user role capabilities, um, and privacy capabilities and its front end design options. For marketplace apps, it's really a blank canvas. I mean, literally you get a blank canvas when you start with a, a new bubble app and uh, for, for creating the exact type of app that you need covering multiple sides to the marketplace, um, the number of complex features and whatever levels of user access your apps will need. All right, I hope that helped open the doors to what's possible when you're building a complex marketplace type app with the points that we covered today, you should be able to move forward more confidently with your app, knowing that the core marketplace features you'll need are all fully possible to build without any coding background necessary. If you learned something new today, 
go ahead and click the subscribe button below this video so you can stay updated on every new video released. And if you want to take this way further, head to coachingnocodeapps.com and sign up for our extended training series. It's completely free. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.